Hi, welcome to the Book Club. I'm Peter Martin. I'm joined by Hugh McDonald, former literary editor of the Herald newspaper. Uh, and we're here to give you an insight into the latest sporting releases from the book world and, of course, some classics that you really should get your hands on. Uh, every week we'll be marking them out of ten. And this week I'm really looking forward to talking about this one. It's a classic. Uh, you may well have watched the movie, but it's well worth getting the book. It's by David Peace. It's called The Damned United. And I have to emphasise right at the start here, Hugh McDonald, that it is a mix between the facts and a little bit of fiction. Uh, and the fiction comes in David Peace taking you inside what he perceives as Cloughy's head. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's, there's I mean, as the book room goes on, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss really good um, uh, Cloughy biographies that are out there. There's a lot of really great books in Cloughy, and there's no surprise because he's such a character. But yeah, there's fiction in this, and it's almost like Shakespearean tragedy <laughs> in this because Cloughy at the centre of this, you know, a man who who went on to be, you know, I think one of the the great man. Well, everybody thinks one of the great managers, certainly one of the greatest English managers of all time, is actually placed in a time where things are really dark and bleak for him, uh, and that's a, he has to pre has to sort of over egg the darkness, but he, he does it beautifully. Yeah, the, the, the one thing and I, I would emphasise to anyone who is going to read it, the, the, the language is choice, to uh -huh. say the least, uh, from it. Um, but having had the great honour of interviewing Cloughy a year before oh. uh, he died, um, you know, when you know all about the great man and you know what drives mm -hmm. him on uh, because you, you've, you've seen the way his mm -hmm. teams play, um, just the whole... Uh, concept of him even agreeing to go to Leeds is is brilliantly illustrated in here. Yeah, and 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 but and we talk about the fiction, but there's real hard fight in it, and the hard fight was that great scene where he comes into the Leeds play, the United <laughs> players who have won everything, one of the most successful clubs in, in England, and says right to the players, throw all your throw all your medals in the bin. You know, you didn't win these, you cheated for them which in man management <laughs> is not under one zero man management, how to get guys on board. But that's the kind of the character he was. And that kind of perverse and a fascinating, charismatic, flawed character comes out brilliantly in the book. I mean, the language, yeah, is, you know, is, is severe, but... It's very much the language of football. We know that. That's the way footballers, and, well, some footballers and some managers talk, it's dressing room talk, and that adds to its authenticity, I think. Yeah. I, I think the one downside to it all, um, if I'm going to be critical mm. of the book, is is the fact that not many books, if they're, if they're hard-hitting and, and, and have an honest appraisal, get the backing of the family. There are some areas in this which upset the family. They mm. didn't feel as if uh, mm. Cloughy got a fair crack of the whip on it. Oh I mean, yeah, I mean, and uh, I mean, really upset Johnny Giles as well. Upset <laughs> him enough to get my learned friends involved. He sued uh, Peace and he, and he won over, uh, and I think certain bits of it had to be changed. But Johnny Giles uh, uh, sued him and, and, and won over it. So yes, yeah, so right on the edge. But uh, as a portrait of a of a manager under stress, facing a big job, it, it, it's absolutely brilliant. And it, it might go over. The, I mean, the drinking in it is heavy as well and I think the family automatically went back for that but you can see I mean Clough it's no secret went on to have a, a heavy drinking problem and you can see the genesis of that at Leeds United. Yeah, and, and I've got to ask you then, and we always like to get a, a, a real sense of whether um, the author uh, achieved the objective mm. as a concept book. And it, mm. and it very much is like that, yep. you know, because it's not something that we become accustomed to reading mm. about a man who had passed away yeah. and suddenly there's this person, you mm. know, acting as Clough. Um, did he achieve it for you? Was it, was it, was it something innovative? Yeah, I think it, absolutely. I think he... He achieved his purpose. I think it is the best football novel. Novel, not the best football book, but the best football novel ever written. OK, um, well, we both uh, had a look at this one. I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a seven. Right. Um, uh, on the basis that I, I really did like the concept mm. of it. Um, but uh, being aware of the backstory as mm. well, um, there are certain areas where I can understand mm. Johnny Giles uh, and all that, mm. where maybe... It, it, it was a little bit unfair, but, you know, as a novel, fantastic, great mm. insight. I'm going to give it seven. What about yourself? I'm going to give it eight, and I'm only taking a couple of marks off because sometimes the style becomes... And 
David Peace as a as a as a writer who writes that he writes in a certain style and sometimes can, can be a bit repetitive. This book he just about gets away with it, but um, I'll give it an eight for that. Okay, don't forget, uh, you can win some fantastic books in our competition on plzsoccer.com. All you have to do is click on the book club. Uh, thanks to Hugh McDonald. Uh, we'll review more books, whether they are new releases or indeed classics like The Damned United, uh, week in, week out on the book club. From Hugh and myself, Peter Martin, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.